Hello everyone, you're welcome to my channel once again. On today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to make this kimono top. You can call it a kimono gown, but it's very versatile. You can use it to wear just whatever you feel comfortable in or on. <laughs> so, um, my subscribers, I'm telling you, thank you, thank you, welcome, and thank you for watching. If you're a new subscriber, you are welcome as well. And please like, comment, share, tell a friend to tell a friend. So this kimono jacket is so easy and simple to do. It is a no-sew tutorial we are having today. It's a no-sew kimono jacket tutorial. So to get this done, all you need is just the fabric of your choice, but I'm using a sequin kimono. And as well, I'll be making use of fabric glue. And that is just it. Of course, our scissors and our measuring tape. <laughs> so let's get to work and I'll see you in my next video. And as you can up. see, we are making use of this lovely sequin material. So this is two yards fabric and it's folded into two. As you can see, it's folded into two. And now I'm going to get my midpoint. My, that is where I'm going to form where the neckline goes. My midpoint is this like this, folded into two folded into half so this is where the midpoint is right here so now I've got it I'm going to open it right back open it right back place my measuring tape there and create an opening from there so that is where my midpoint is Remember when cutting, you don't have to cut the bottom because it's folded into two. You're only cutting the first, the, the top bit of this fabric. So, we cut all the way till we get to the top here. Now, you will be going to decide how you want the neckline to be. If you want, if you want, you leave it round. If you want, you leave it. Uh, you make it straight. It all depends on you. But I want it a bit curved. So I'm going to cut just a little bit from here. I'm just going to measure out. Because my neckline is about seven inches, so I'm just going to measure from here, here, cut it like that. a bit curved again from here because I want it a bit fanciful. <laughs> so just leave it a bit like this. Yeah, we have that. So now I'm going to get my sleeve section. You, you, the the uh, arm area that really doesn't matter. You decide how wide you want the arm area to be, but I want mine to be really wide. So all I'm go just going to measure down from here. I'm just going to measure I'm just going to measure 10 inches from here or let's just say 12 inches from here then from here, I will measure down. I will measure down 
13 inches from here to get my sleeve length. This is where my sleeve length is. So I'm going to cut from here. This is 13 inches to form my sleeve length. Yep. So from here now, I'm going to cut here up. you can see it's gradually forming so I'm going to do repeat the same process on this side is of fabric glue so that is what we'll be using so I'm going to flip it inside out and flip it inside out and use the fabric fabric glue to glue it together So this technique is just the same method you use in sewing but the only difference is instead of using a sewing machine we are not so we are making use of fabric glue instead so that is the whole idea of this so a lot of people prefer this method because they can't afford to go through the hassle of using a sewing machine but whichever works best for you, please do it. So this is it inside and out. So I'm going to go ahead and add the fabric glue to glue it. So here's the trick. The fabric glue does not, this fabric glue does not uh, leave marks behind. It's invisible. So when buying, make sure you buy a fabric glue that does not turn white when you use it on your fabric. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it on the other side of the fabric, on top of the other side of the fabric, wet it all the way down. much very easy to do if you're someone that enjoys craft art and craft this will be very easy this is things that I love to do so I'm doing it all the way to the sleeve and I'll repeat this same process on the other side as well And when we are done adding this glue, because it's fabric glue, so you need to leave it to air dry for 24 hours for it to dry. So we're going to add this, place it right on top, right on top, press it down hard, you put it right on top. Just like a quarter of an inch like you're sewing, but this time you're putting it on the fabric glue. Press it down. Press it down. Do the same thing.
So we are meant to leave this for 24 hours before you use it. So that is how it is. That's how we do it. So I'm going to repeat this same process. I'm going to do the same thing here as well. So you determine how you want your seam, the your the area you're gluing. If you want it big or but I'm just using like an inch space to close it with. So I'll just keep going this way. going to just fold it down and close it. As I said, I'm closing it down by an inch. I'll do the same thing. I'll work it all the way up. So that is basically it. Then when I'm done with this, I'll repeat this same process on the other side. And we'll be done. Then I will need to do the neck as well, the neck area as well. So I hope you are getting it. So that is it. So I'm going to repeat this same process all the way down there here. Do the same thing there and we are done with our clothes. Then I need to fix the tab at the bottom as well.